So, good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. We're on the Victoria tonight. Uh, a very nice uh, cerveza um, from Malaga. Uh, highly recommended, by the way. Uh, this is... How much percent is this? Does it tell me? Where's the percentage? At uh, 4.8%, uh, which, by the way, is less than Corona. Everyone laughs at people. I said this to my friend the other day. Most beers, most lagers, are actually less volume than Corona. But you go to a bar, you may go, oh, I love a Corona. And you're getting a Stella. Oh, that's got more alcohol in the Corona than your Stella, mate. Oh, yeah, but you, yeah, yeah, you're drinking Corona. <laughs> Yeah, good one. Uh, anyway, um, cheers, guys. Uh, happy Monday. Happy start to the week. Uh, football returns on Sunday. Bosh! Community Shield. Uh, where are we? What are we doing? Where are you? Let's be having you. Uh, are we any good? Are we going to defeat Manchester City? Um, maybe. Listen, they, they've not been great in preseason, although saying that. They weren't great last preseason and won the treble. They've got rid of a few players. Mara's absolute baller. You know I love him. Uh, but, yeah, they're probably a little bit weaker than they were before the window opened. But, trust me, they ain't finished spending. They ain't even brought anyone yet, have they? I think they're in for Vardy Aula. Still not done yet. That will be done. I do think they're going to find a couple of other players. Danny Olmo's linked to them as well. But, let's be real with it. We're miles behind them. And, the league table last season made it look like we're right on them. We're not. And I'm here to tell you right now, we're not. Uh, but before I get into this video properly, uh, make sure you are smashing the like button into oblivion. Uh, big up to everybody who watched uh, yesterday's video. I will have a video out about Dusan Flyovic. Remember him? The hipster's choice. Oh, Dusan Flyovic, Flyovic, Flyovic. Nobody watches Italian league football, mate. <laughs> like, let's just be real with it. Nobody watches it. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. He's not. Uh, and that's a swap deal that's on the verge of being completed for Lakaka. Lakaka to Juve, Vlajevic the other way, plus a bit of cash um, going to Juve. But yeah, make sure you check that out. That'll be dropping straight after this video. Smash the likes up, sub to the channel, comments, super chats, all of that good stuff, all that jazz. And um, yeah, man, it's. Um, it's the last day of the month. Football season is upon us. And um, we play Manchester City on the Community Shield on Sunday. And I'll be honest with you. I actually think we'll beat them. Yeah, I do think we'll beat them. I think I've watched a bit of City. I watched them against Atleti. They're not that good in pre-season. But it's not about the results. We know this. We've seen Arsenal go and win every game in pre-season then finish fourth before. We've seen Arsenal not win many games in pre-season and then go and like finish second or win a cup or whatever. So preseason is all about the fitness. We know that. But at the same time, it's all about building up relationships with the new players. And Man City, well, they don't need to do that. And they haven't signed any players. So there's no relationships they need to build up because they all know each other inside out, upside down and back to front. Whereas with us, we've got Declan Rice who's come in straight away injured. We've had Timber come in. Looked very good, by the way. Um we don't know where he's going to play. Centre back, right back, left back, right back in the dressing room. I don't know. Nobody knows. And then we've got um, Kai Havertz. I know he scored the other day, but he's Kai Havertz, isn't he? He's a bit hit and miss. Yeah, he sometimes, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. That's just how it is. Yeah, most of the... Who the fuck is that? One second, I'll be back. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, touch of the century. So I ordered some beer because everywhere's shut. So I ordered some beers. The guy turns up 10 minutes before I start recording this with 10 cans of Victoria. Next thing, you heard my buzzer going. Another delivery guy from the same place has rocked up with another 10. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, bro, I've already had the beers. Like, take the beers back. No, 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 no. No pasa nada, mi amigo. No pasa nada. Gratis, gratis. So I was like, what, you're giving them some for free, bruv? Yeah? Cheers. Because they tucked me up for 17 euro 25 for 10 when I could literally go to the shop when it is open and get them for about 6 euro. So, yeah. Double. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Uh, Man City, they don't need to build partnerships. They've already got the partnerships. They've already got the cohesion. They've won the treble. They've got the best manager, blah, blah, blah. But we, in my opinion, we're way behind them. Like, I don't care what anyone tells me. We've got the most valuable squad. We've got the biggest net spend in the last five years. We've got um, the biggest signing in our history, 105 million. Yeah, we've got... 25 new players under this manager, 650 million under this manager. Yeah. I don't care. Find a way, mate. Yeah. Arsene Wenger was up against the greatest manager in English football history, in my opinion, if not the world. Yeah. For me, he's the best manager ever, Fergie. Yeah. There's arguments. Listen, if Ancelotti goes and wins a World Cup with Brazil, there's an argument to say, yo, this guy's the greatest. Four Champions Leagues, five titles, five different countries the Cups, etc., etc. Now add a World Cup to that, all of a sudden, Ancelotti is looking like the GOAT. Pep, if he stays with the longevity for the next 5, 10, 15 years, he will win the most trophies out of any manager ever. Yeah, he will. So he'll end up being the GOAT. But right now, as it stands for me, Fergie's the GOAT. Arsene Wenger found a way, with limited money compared to United, to go and beat United to a title. So why can't we do it against City? All the fairy tales, the Disney-esque storylines the wwe storylines all of the stories all of the drama all of the excuses for why this manager is not one another in three full seasons oh but it took club four years no it didn't yeah i'm bored of hearing these excuses yeah nobody can deal with factual information and dissect it and break it down and come with a debate it's you're an idiot you're a mug you're a spurs fan you're toxic you're negative no facts don't care about your disney s storylines mate yeah the facts are yeah, this manager has not won anything in three full seasons. Yes, he won an FA Cup, but in the three full seasons after he binned everyone, he's not won anything. Eighth, eighth, fifth, second. That's his achievement so far in an FA Cup. Big up the FA Cup. I love the FA Cup. Yeah, and well done for winning it. But we're on our longest uh, trophy drought for a decade. Longest title drought in our history. 29 years, no European trophy. Oh, but we're up against Man City. Well, we were up against Fergie. They did a treble. 1999. I remember Burkamp missing the penalty and Giggsy wheeling away. Yeah? Come on. They won the treble that year. We won the league the year before that. Like, come on. Like, we were up against one of the best teams ever. Yeah, let's just have that right. Let's just have that right. They also did a treble. So find a way. Atletico Madrid found a way to break into the dominance of Barca and Madrid. They found a way. They didn't spend all the money them two clubs have got. They ain't got the money like that. So we need to find a way. And for me, trying to be a baby Pep, trying to be a copycat of Pep, I'm sorry, mate, you're Pep off wish. Yeah, and he will ultimately live or die by the sword. That's how it is. 25 new players is a whole squad. He has had a whole squad given to him. We're about to sign David Raya. That's his fourth goalkeeper since he's been here. Fourth. Four goalkeepers since he's been here, he signed. This will be the fourth. Four. Ramsdale, Runnison, Turner. Now Raya. Name another club that have signed four goalkeepers under the same manager in four years. Maybe only Pep. And I don't even, maybe it is only Pep. Because I don't see Liverpool signing for. I ain't seen Chelsea signing for. I ain't seen Spurs signing for. Just saying. Like, and when I look at it and I break it down, I look at our squad and I think, right, we're still light up front. Eddie's not the guy. We know this. Balogun may or may not be the guy. 
But for me, he ain't a starter week in, week out. We need an elite banger. We need a baller. We need a Kane, an Ivan Tony, somebody of that ilk that can bag us 20, 25 goals, 30 goals, and we can be elite. And unfortunately, we ain't going to get that. Yeah, we ain't going to get that, which is why I don't see us being in a title challenge. Now, I think last season, a lot of people have been sucked in by that. And they're basing this season's expectation in their head with the storyline of, well, we've built the foundations. We've got a great team that can compete for the next five years. But we haven't, though, have we? Yeah, Tommy Asu's not good enough. Lukonga's not good enough. Vieira's not good enough. Ramsdale's on full watch. Hence why we're buying another goalkeeper, which, by the way, Arteta wanted before Ramsdale. Yeah, Zinchenko's dog shit. Yeah, uh, Thomas Party's going to leave next season, most likely. Jorginho ain't good enough. Kai Havertz is dog shit. Odegaard, cool. Well done last season. Can you do it again? Yeah, we'll see. Saka, cool. Martinelli, cool. Um, Jesus, cool. Eddie and Balogun. Have I missed anybody? Tierney, my baller. Ben White, cool. When you look at that squad and how much money it's cost, I think people are deluded. I genuinely do. And listen, I may be proven wrong, and I hope I am, because I want us to win a title. I don't sit on here day in, day out, crying and moaning and bitching and cussing this football club out for us not to win a title and for me to eat my words. I want this club to raise their standards. And unfortunately, they're not going to. It's vibes. It's happy. The amount of people, like I said in the video yesterday, go and read my Insta Reel comments. They can't argue with factual information. So then they go, oh, but look at what Chelsea has spent. Look at what Man United has spent. You idiots. Brain cell of an amoeba. Yeah, one cell being. One cell, literally. One cell. In cell. You're comparing the best team in England ever to Arsenal. And you're comparing the best team in the last 20 years in England to Arsenal. What planet do these people come from? Where do they live? Where do they crawl out of? They can't argue with the facts that are presented, so they throw another club into the mix. I don't care about the other club, mate. Yeah, We have spent more money than any club on the planet yeah, since this manager's been here. Well, other than Chelsea. <laughs> but you get my point. Every single football club we have outspent apart from Chelsea. And that's only because Chelsea went and done 600 million in one season. Take that out of the equation. We're miles clear of Chelsea on spend. Yes, they've not won a title for six years, whatever it is. But the fact is, we ain't won one for 19. And I think a lot of people are going to wake up this season. Yeah, because there's a lot of people that have been blagging it, winging it, lying to themselves, lying to others, attacking people, crying and bitching at people that don't back the process, trust the process. Let me tell you right now, if we don't start this season off very well, regardless of the, the Community Shield, yeah, I've seen us win the Community Shield. I think the last three or four times we've won it, the team we've beaten have won the league. Yeah? I remember Giroud scoring a 30-yard screamer in that game against Man City. Oh, I think they did shit Centurion that season, didn't they? Just saying. Yeah, we beat Liverpool. Oh, they won the league that season. Beat Chelsea before. Oh, they. Oh, we beat Man Oh, they won it. Yeah? I mean, come on. Yeah? Facts are presented in front of you and they're dismissed based on emotional connection to a football club. Yeah, the fact is, this is an elite level football club that hasn't won anything for over three years. The longest in a decade for us. 19 years, no title. 29 years, no Europe. Raise the standards, man. Like, if we get top four again, everyone's going to knock one out. No. Win the title. Win it. Do what's required to win it. Instead of sitting there gassing up everything, you should be sitting there calling the club out. Oh, you're the only Arsenal fan I know that slags the club off every day. Mate, go and have a look at Real Madrid fans, mate. There's a reason they got 14 Champions Leagues. Reason they've won over 30 titles. Yeah, reason they're the most decorated football club on the planet. There's a reason their standards are high. Now go and have a look at other clubs. PSG. Yeah, people are going, oh, they're a mess. Well, I'll take 21, uh, 21 trophies in nine years, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Makes no sense. But these people live in fairy tale land, Disneyland. Like they just want to go along with the storyline. No, this is an elite level football club that is mad under fucking performing and has done for a long time. Oh, but you've got to admit, Lee, that we played the best football and it was nice to watch last season. 
Yeah, we're making progress. No, we're not. We've gone back to the level we was when Leicester won the league. Second. And I was marching down Hornsey Road with a banner and a placard to get Wenger out for it. So why is top four seen as success now, but it weren't when Wenger was here? Because they love the storyline. Oh, we hope this rookie manager that's first ever job is Arsenal. And we hope he guides us to beat the Messiah Pep, the student and the uh, and the pupil. The pupil beats the... Like, get in the bin, man. Like, seriously, yeah? Raise the bar, people. I hope we beat Man City. I really do. But we ain't ready to win this title, mate. Yeah? We ain't ready. And we should be. We've done enough, though. So now we have to find a way. And that is where the manager comes in. We've done the dough. He's got 25 new players. That's a whole squad of his players. There's your 25, mate. There's your 25. Now you have to find a way to beat Pep. I personally don't see it. But if this manager's as good as everyone keeps telling me he is, then he'll find a way then, isn't it? Simeone found a way. Simeone found a way against a decent and I mean decent, Luis Enrique team. Who, had, who did the sex tuple. They won everything. Simeone found a way. He actually won the league at Barcelona. Cheers, guys. He won the league at Barcelona in 2014. The same season, he won the cup, the Copa del Rey, the King's Cup. He won that at Real Madrid's ground. The local rival. First time they'd beaten him in 20 attempts at that ground. So he can beat Madrid at their ground to win the cup and he can beat Barca at their ground to win the league. This manager better find a way this season. And I'm telling you now, he won't. And in my opinion, and it is only my opinion, I think he's sacked by Christmas. They've done 650. Now adding the goalkeeper, it's nearly 700 mil. By Christmas, it'll be four years, full four years, December's to December's, full four years. They can sit there and go, yo, we're currently sat fifth or sixth, third, 10 points off, whatever it may be. Sorry, mate. Unfortunately, they'll go and get the little hipster from Brighton and round and round and round we go. Yeah, because they don't want to be elite. They don't want to have a manager that isn't a puppet. And when people sit there and talk about the Cronkies, I don't care who the owners of Arsenal Football Club are. And listen, fair play, they're giving him the money. Why don't they do this with Emery? Imagine giving Emery 650. Imagine giving Wenger 650. He only done 810 in his entire 22 years. Oh, but Lee, different landscape back then. We were struggling financially. Rubbish. Read the accounts. And on that bombshell, let me know your thoughts and feelings down below. I'm going to record a video right now um, about La Caca and uh, Vlajevic. We're out of here, people. Have a blessed day, evening, whatever it is. Um, yeah, man, I'm on with Rants as well on Friday. Looking forward to that. I'm on with Terry Fluis tomorrow. Um, so make sure you come and check that out. 3.30 UK time. Make sure you stick a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe. Share the content around. And uh, leave your comments and super chats down below. But yeah, we're out of here, people. Adios, amigos.